Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 79. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Very big and special guests in the building today. A lot of them going on today. Introduce yourself to the audience. Ladies first. You want to go first? What um, up, that would be that would be y'all. The ladies would be the would be the women. It's S G and Tashi from the What Up Dope podcast. Bruce. Say, All right, say, let, say, know, let them know. Let them hold up. Let them know where y'all from. You know, international hype, not just the hashtag. It's a way of life. Detroit, Michigan. What up, though? You know who we're from. <laughs> Salutations, this is Bruce Leroy, Unpopular Opinions Podcast, Dallas, Texas, checking in. This is Uncle B, Philadelphia. Uh, you from, um, shit, I'm just trying to get up. Oh, I'm sorry. Where's your Gap Podcast, man? <laughs> Philadelphia. I'm still asleep, pass. I'm sorry. Copy that. Y'all already know. Bruce, I'm, you get comfortable, I'm baby. Being, Here comes the run sir. down. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am hype. That's H Y M P E. You also follow the clothing line. This is one of the jerseys. This is a custom hustle jersey right here. This is the red hype. You know what I'm saying? I would turn around so y'all can see all of that. Uh, custom hustle world on Instagram, custom hustle co on Twitter, custom jerseys, jackets, t shirts, sweatsuits. You name it, we can make it happen. And we got the baby clothes in as well. Basketball jerseys and hockey jerseys is in now too. Uh, H2H Cleaner at H2H Cleaner on Instagram only that is my cleaning company but if you make it worth my while I will slide down to Texas and then go out to Michigan and make your situation all the way right now E-Block Radio Network every Monday 2 o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network GFT Radio Network 2 o'clock on Tuesday <laughs> Wednesday is 216 to blend 8 a.m. 8 p.m. and also at 12 midnight now uh, Thursdays is WTNUPhilly.com at 12.30. Fridays, the I Say Podcast Radio Network at 10 a.m. Saturday is the THC Media. And for my girls, what up, though? Sunday, we still have not locked in anybody on that time slot. We are still trying to make that happen. I don't know. Come on, I don't, that's what I'm guys. telling y'all. We, we are something, prefer, on something preferably on the West Coast, you know. We're trying to make that oh, happen. Kelly, <laughs> like, what the hell What's is going on? What's that I'm saying shout out to my girls for the What Up Dope podcast. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to make that West Coast thing happen for Sundays. Um, all right, y'all. So y'all ready? Episode 79. Bruce, you good and comfortable over there? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, <laughs> this one is we going back to the marriage situation. My bad, y'all. Y'all know I got a lot going on, as you can tell from the rundown. Uh, we never hit back on the marriage situation. So here we are a year later. We really like to build up the anticipation over here. <laughs> um, this episode is. Why isn't marriage the goal? Why don't you want to get married? Talk to me, Bruce. You start this one off for me. Okay. Uh, long story short, man, I'm a I'm a loner by nature, man. And uh, truth be told, I be trying to just get some peace and just quiet, man. I got kids, you know. I got you can hear them in the next room, my lady in there or whatever. But sometimes I just be overwhelmed with too much you know what i'm saying like it's too much going on and, and the, the way my mind is set up i can't really function like that my mood be bad and they ain't did nothing it's just like damn i just want some peace and quiet some alone time i think i don't have that you know what i'm saying so i know with marriage that ain't how it's how it's supposed to work out you know so how, how it's gonna work out so that's my main thing in the back of my mind is it that you can't? Ah, shit. All right. Well, I mean, let me just go in. I'm going to go individually and go at everybody's when they say they think. Uh, Wait, I got a so, question, too. You said you got a girlfriend? Yes, ma'am. But y'all don't live together? We do now, yeah. He just said she in the other room. He hopes she ain't got the, you know, cut to the wall. Together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do now. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's not her fault, not their fault, or whatever. It's strictly me. And like I told her, She's always wondering why I'm just dead quiet sometimes. Like I said, it ain't that I'm mad at them or her or whatever. It's just y'all are so loud. I'm just trying to find the little pocket of quiet that I can. You know what I'm saying? Because before Man. before Man. it was them, it was just me. So all right, that's that's definitely that's definitely one of my things. Is like, how come you be talking so low? It's like, cause y'all motherfuckers are too loud. 
Right. I don't like a lot of noise. So I'm hoping I can tone it down a little bit. If I, so I'm saying if if I can (laughs) just you know try to set the standard of we not trying to talk that fucking loud in here. Um. All right. So basically, what this sounds like to me though, Bruce, is not you don't really got an issue with getting married. You just got an issue with the responsibility that comes with all of this. Hey, being the one that's at the head of that table and all of the pressure falls to you, that's not really a problem with the marriage. That's just like, you know, kids, wife type of thing. Like, you know, that's just what happens when you keep having sex with no condom and then get a vasectomy. Right. Right. The main thing is, you know, just the if I want to just be by myself, I don't have that option. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can go watch a game or whatever the case may be, but that shit only lasts. That 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 shit don't last so long. So this is what I was about to say. All of that is is just finding the right person who understands that I need my time and you need yours. That ain't really necessarily like an anti-marriage thing. That's just a we haven't found the right situation thing. Not saying I don't know which current. Let me let me rephrase this because you know we need her to hit the button to appreciate the five stars. Uh, no, I don't want her to hear you. this. I don't want her to hear this and hear that I'm saying <laughs> she's the wrong situation because I don't know her. What I'm right. saying is that's something that we need to sit down, talk, communicate, and understand that, like, look, I love us, but I also love me, too. And before I knew how to be a we, I knew how to be a me. And I also still need time to be me without it always right. being us. All right. right. We're going to go to one of the ladies right now. Tachi seems to be nodding right along. So we're going to go to Tachi see what she thinks about the situation. You want to know why I don't want to be married? Yes, we need we need your specific answer, Tachi. Um. I just feel like marriage is a very long-term contract. And I feel like people change too much for that. Like, we're ever-evolving. And you don't know that somebody going to evolve the same way that you do. I don't know that in 10 years, our paths are going to be aligned just because they are right now. And that don't mean I don't want to be with you. But I, I feel like putting the uh, putting the shit on paper and making it legally binded and uh, I just feel like it's kind of backwards because if we know that we're evolving and it's not guaranteed for shit to work out in the long term, why are we putting a lifetime agreement? Like, life is long. It's short, but it's long. When you talk about being with somebody forever, and I don't know, I just feel like it don't even have to be about you like being interested in other people, but you might just not like that nigga no more. And they might not like you. There's a lot of married people I know who don't like each other. And I don't think that's a good way to live. All right. So this is a future episode. So I really don't want to go all the way in with this. Yeah, I'll be Uh, there. I'll be there. Don't you worry. I'll be there. This is one thing I know. I know y'all locked in. Sometimes when I send Tosh the link, she say, oh, I started last night already. Appreciate you hitting the button. (laughs) Is that, though, yes, obviously, you know, people change and you shouldn't be the same person at 21 that you as at 51. So is it, though, that you try to find a person that you can grow with? Y'all also kind of always have to be uh, finding new reasons and ways to love each other, things to appreciate about each other, because, like you said, you're going to change. Things will be different. Yeah, I'm not going to be the same when we had no kids versus we got two kids versus well, the kids is out of the house versus right. now we got grant. Like, it's always going to be an ever evolving situation, but you got to find that person that you're willing to grow and change with and for. Absolutely. And you should proactively, you should do all of those things to try to make sure that y'all grow together. But that's not how shit always works. We all know that life is not a fairy tale, life is not a dream, and people change, and sometimes shit goes in the wrong direction. And people change. And sometimes people just wake up and decide they don't like you no more. They don't want to be in this or they've been repressing stuff and holding it in. And then all of a sudden, everything blows up in your face. And now you got kids and a house and you paying alimony and doing and all types of crazy shit that you, wasn't necessary. You, you, if y'all was but just- you, you just hit it on the head. Nobody wake up one day and just say, you know what, Tosh, I ain't fucking with you today. It was a lead up that we got here. There was might have been baby steps. It might have been something big. But if we didn't communicate, talk about that, if we wasn't looking to grow our situation together, if yes. we just look to grow apart, because like I'll use myself, for example, if I'm looking to grow all these different businesses and shit, and my wife is just like, yeah, I don't believe it. I don't see it. And I don't like approve of it type of thing she's not growing with me in the situation so it's like yeah we constantly doing this until we just get to one day where it's like we on two different sides of the fucking building right. that's the problem 
most people, most dudes, because most <laughs> dudes don't be wanting to have them conversations because they uncomfortable and they hard to have. But you yeah. gotta have them uncomfortable. I don't conversations. be wanting to have conversations, but if you in something there, I'm a, I a don't, nigga. A perfect example. <laughs> I don't want to do that shit. But you can only be accountable for you. You can sit here and think that y'all being as honest as honest can be with each other, and one of y'all not on the same page as the other one and not communicating it. It is always a chance that shit could be a way that you don't think it is. Oh, I just feel like people are meant to. I'm I'm not gonna say they. I feel like people are meant to connect, but you only really got you. Like you can't 100 percent say like, oh, I know you so well that I know that you feel this way or that you're being completely honest with me you don't always know that and the more you get to caring about people sometimes people say don't say shit to spare your feelings see that's one thing i do hate though once you die now you was everybody's best friend and you know everybody loved you and this that or whatever that's why i always am like a give you your flowers while you're here type of person because mm-hmm. Don't show up uh, posting 15 pictures of me the day that I die. Oh, you know, Hank, this was this, it was this and it was that. When you ain't tell me none of that shit. Mm-hmm. And my wife is not to be DM'd by anybody. My wife is not for the public. So <laughs> do not be sending my wife no DMs to my, oh, you know, that was my man. And uh, no, no, no. Right. In her DMs. Oh. Yo. You was happily separated for a while. Uh-uh. <laughs> Happily not together for a while. What I, what I used to say, I'm married but single. Married but single was the term that yeah. owners use on the BGG <laughs> podcast. <That's> <laughs> <a great point. laughs> yeah. So, oh, what is it about that situation? What is it about the marriage situation that will have you say, I'm not going back there? Um, well, I, I learned a lot from my first one. You know what I mean? If I was to go back, man, it has to be, I have to do more research. Um, my first, my first marriage, we was brought up in two separate areas, areas of the city. I was brought up a little better than they was brought up probably, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it just didn't work out because on a long run, they would do things like, you know, do shit that I didn't agree with because this is how she was raised. This is how I was raised. We was raised by two different people. My parents was together. My my parents was married all they all they life. You know what I'm saying? Well, all my life, I'm sorry. Um, my dad was my inspiration. So when I got married, I tried to do everything my dad did with my mom. You know what I'm saying? Go to work, take care of the family, um, and uh try to do it all, man. And it just, you know, it just didn't work. The only way that I would go back and get married again, I would have to get somebody that's on the same type of time I'm on. You know what I mean? Uh, so that way, when we grow and change, at least we still, our mindset is the same. You what what I mean? made you not, what made you not do that homework the first time? Um, it was more like, uh, first of all, I was older, much older than her. And um, I was much older than her at the time. And, I really thought about it and I was like, uh, I had to sit down and think about it, but I didn't think about long term. I thought I could change it if I gave her everything. Like I said, because she was where she come from, you know what I mean? It wasn't where I came from. So if I feel like if I gave her, if I gave her the world, show her a new life and all that good shit, she would, you know, be, be appreciative type and, of thing. Not be curious, just jump on a board and start thinking like I'm thinking. You know what I mean? And we can grow together as one, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, if I help you pay for school or whatever, you know, so when you marry and your your levels is different, our levels is different. So if I can, in my mind, if I get her up to my level, you know, one day if I fuck around and I might fall or something, she already up there to help me out this time. You know what I mean? I don't want to just stay up here and she down there. Come on, let me bring you up here. We're going to make the same amount of money. That way, if anybody fucked up, uh, we got each other. You know what I mean? But it's all about how you was raised, man. You know what I mean? Her parents wasn't there. My parents was there. I seen how that shit go. I ate, I ate Sunday dinner at 5 o'clock. They might eat it at 8.30 at night. You know what I'm saying? Every fucking day. Every Sunday, same time. 
Matter of fact, every day at the school, yeah. You know what I mean? It was just shit that I was raised on that they wait that they wasn't raised on. Now I got these two kids, you know, um, that I'm trying to the little three days that I have out of the week with them, I'm still trying to set the, the bar up, give them the game that I have. Now the other five, now when they go back, the other five is different. You understand what I'm saying? Something's up with that so, math. Oh, three and five is eight, not seven. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Four days. I'm sorry. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm sorry. You know, I just started a new gig, so yeah, six days. Shout week, my man Oak used to be the king of so, this bitch. Yeah, <laughs> you know, damn fucking him over. <laughs> yeah. So, um, in order for me to get married again, I'm a real, I'm a real funny person. I need her to be funny. I need her to be on the same type vibe I'm on. You know what I mean? I'm, I want to go places. I want you to go places. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit that we, that we, um, and as you get older, things might change, but you got to realize when you get married with somebody, you know, you know, the words mean something. You know what right, I mean? So Everything I say, you know, is, that means something. Yo, yeah. So this is what it sounds like to me here. This is a problem yeah. that people do have here. You just said, you, you, but, he said, my dad set the example for me because I had my parents and she didn't. So I bought all of that shit that my dad did and tried to instill that to us. You can't do that. You can't try to make it about all about this is how I grew up. She making it all about this is how I grew up because now y'all just button his. It's not about how we growing together. That's not us communicating that. Look, how do we want to run our household? What time do we want to have dinner? If not, you got to realize five o'clock. You know what I'm saying? But you, but you, yeah. Because we was more of a 730 kind of people. Yeah, but you make sacrifices. But when I say my, my dad was, it's just like him just being a man, being there for everybody. You know what I mean? Playing that role. Oh God, don't you know lose don't lose me. Don't lose me with that because I totally understand that. And my dad was the same thing for me. My mom and dad was together since the 60s and all of that. So right. I looked at the example that I was given from my dad, but also uh, you still got to understand them. It can't be about this is how, like, like I said, we, we had dinner at five o'clock. It can't always be like, this is how I did it, and this is how I grew up, and this is what I know it is. Because she don't understand that. Like you just said, she didn't come from that. That's not the understanding of the world that she got. So when you come telling her about 5 o'clock, and all she ever knew was 8 o'clock, we got to talk about that shit before we end up sitting at this table. You know what I'm saying? saying. You gotta, I, I, that's, where I'm, that's, that's the little stuff that messes up. Like That's why I got to say, like you know, you know, if I was to do it again, I got to do more better research. You know what okay. I mean? She was have she was you know our situ my my marriage just was was crazy like you know I took on a whole lot of responsibilities but I I thought all that too because she already had two kids when I met her well she had one you know a baby and an older kid when I met her so I sat down and took all that on so now I'm raising these two boys you know that that don't have my blood in me but I'm still raising them as if they do and you know like the, my youngest here now he's eleven. You can't tell him that I'm not his pops. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still, you know, I'm still in this. If, even though we're not married no more, we just, it still feel like we are. But it's just, you know, it's, it's. I don't know if I could do it again. You know what I'm saying? Especially in this day just... man. Shit didn't, cha shit didn't change now. It's shit, shit goofy out here now. Oh, no, we're going to get there. You got to, I'm just saying, yeah. I got, I got you. A lot of, you got to. I got you. All I right. got you. I'll right. get us down the court. You know right. I'm saying paid talent, yeah. baby. Shouts out to my girls from What Up Though podcast. They are yeah. officially paid 30 talent. 30 minutes ain't enough. No, nah, nah, that's why we're going to go at least 35. <laughs> Shout out to my girls from the What Up Though podcast. They paid talent now. You know what I'm saying? They're fresh off of a live show. Now we're going to get some of that professional advice from Just G. What's going on, <laughs> Jess? So I what, up, though? what up, though? What up, though? I want to preface and say I, I'm not anti marriage. However, there are a lot of things that come with marriage that as I get older, I'm like, I'm not sure if that's what I really want to do. Um, when you're looking at marriage from a, a woman's perspective, we're supposed to be the submissive one. We're supposed to honor thy husband and we're supposed to let them take the head. Well, at 32, if I've never, oh, sorry. 31, not 32 yet. <laughs> and, I, going back and, I, I know, I usually say I'm 30 <laughs> until I'm 40. Um, at 30, I'm just going to scratch that from the tape. 
at 30 when you're already uh, set in your career, you've been a single parent for, well, I've been a single parent for my daughter's nine now. And I've pretty much made all the decisions and I've gotten to this point by myself. For me, it's hard to be like, oh, this man is here. Let me depend on this man and let me allow this man to make these decisions or even trust this man to make these decisions because he's the man and that's just what he's supposed to do. I'm supposed to follow his lead. So I feel like unless it's more of a partnership where we both are looped in on things, not saying that I can't follow your lead, but I should still be able to ask questions. I should still be in the know. I should still know what's going on in general instead of you just saying, oh, well, I'm the man, so I got it. You ain't got to worry about it. And I'm having a hard time, even with my current situation, to say, what's worth fighting for? Like, you can, if, um, if you're on two completely different pages, and it doesn't seem to be any resolution, at what point do you feel like, okay, well, this fight, we're losing this fight. When you're married and there's no out, because I can easily start playing Fantasia right now. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Go ahead and free yourself. And then you can just leave, and I can, you know, go out and be with the girls and have a good time and uh, listen to Mary J. Blige on the way home and be okay. If we're married, I come home, and nigga, you still there. So now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> we keep, if we keep having the same argument and there's no resolution, what's, what are, what's worth fighting for? I, I don't know. In a marriage, you kind of seem like you're stuck and you're just supposed to work through it. But now I could just be like, deuces. It All is right, no so, repercussions. <laughs> oh, hold up, man. Uh, episode 97, what up, though? It's just funny as hell that you brought that up. Uh, I text you, yo, that was a good episode. I got a couple topics and shit from there. And that's the shit that I got right from there. And you went right for it. <laughs> like, you don't want future... me to talk to me. That's a future episode. Can I say right something? There. Go ahead. Can I say something? Um, in your situation, I feel as though, like, if um, if you do meet somebody and you already up, y'all could just be up together. He doesn't yeah. have to take charge. You don't have to have a man to take charge. He should not want to take charge. Cause you there already. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Um, don't you don't have to be submissive because you didn't you didn't did all you can you, you, you there. You I, know I mean you got your word. own career, you already yeah, I hate the word too, but you already there. That right was now, like episode 12, he's just a, right now, <laughs> he's just when he comes in, he should realize listen, I'm just a partner. Damn, let's do things. Everything we can if we if you want to do 50-50, you want to do 60-40. Whatever the case may be, you know what I mean. We do not but, promote a fifty-fifty lifestyle here on the How to Hustle podcast. Behind you. Oh, we are not oh. about that. We are not oh, about the gas bills. But, that's the but you can't because that's how she. We are not about be. the gas bills of being twenty. I got my sixty dollars over here at the How to Hustle podcast. Behind you. That's the thing. <laughs> as a as a woman, you do want to be taken care of, and I'm not saying like, oh, I'm this super feminist and I want to pay that nigga bills. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is a lot of times when we're dating, let me finish, Hype. I see you give me a A lot of times when we're dating, some men come into it automatically wanting you to just, Tashi say it all the time, blindly trust you. And I don't know you to blindly trust you. We can get there, but I feel like some men are waiting to even get there so that I can trust you and follow. All right, so guys, to see. Oh no! <laughs> this is why I needed y'all for this episode because I know y'all all locked in and well, listening. A uh, couple of these different things y'all talked about are old episodes, which you can find on How to Hustle Podcast. My hype. Uh, what do you hear when you hear the word submission? That was one I did, but I believe that was with uh, Tough Talk Toronto. Um, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, Tachi's brought this up too. Trust. I got trust issues and no problem admitting it. I've been married six years. Love you, boo. Uh, <laughs> but I got trust issues with no problem admitting it. It takes years and damn near decades to build up enough trust for me to let you know what my social security number is and where my mom lives and all that type shit. Like, I don't just be giving out that kind of information. I meet you on the corner or around the corner <laughs> before I let you know all of that type shit. But, uh, 
something that Jess is touching on here, this is where the, the confusion comes in here. I totally understand what you're saying. Why am I instantly submitting to somebody if I've been already on my own doing this shit for all these years and all this time? All I know is this way. But once you find that person that you, to find a person that you say, like, I want to choose you above everybody else, it makes you look at this and say, I have to change the way that I look at everything because I'm looking at everything about what can I do that's best for me and my daughter at this particular time? How do I get us down the field? Once you have somebody else, then I got to take into your account, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, and how you view the world and how can we collaborate? Same thing like I was just saying with Oh, how are we going to collaborate to make this work for us? It's not about like, well, I'm the man. And because I said we eating chicken tonight, we eating chicken tonight. Nah, it ain't that type of situation. It's wholeheartedly a collaborative effort because we are two equal people. We're equal people. We're just doing different jobs. The job that you have, the yeah, the, exactly. It's like, a, it's like a team. The job that you have as the woman and the job that I have as the man are equal jobs. I can't go, I can't, you know, I can't score these points without my wife doing her part of the job. She couldn't score the points without me doing my part of the job. We both got an equal role. It's just not the same role. Now, when you say, yeah, we all want to be taken care of and all of that, this is where the disconnect always gets in. The women of today always say, like, yeah, we want to, like, not everybody. It's always not everybody. You want to be taken care of, but you don't want to do the things that leads the man to want to take care of you. That's you not me. So that's not that's I'm not. Just, this. That's not these two. I don't. No, no, no. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Say, say, say it one I'm, more time. When I'm saying bro. these things too, I don't want ever. I don't want us all to take them personally. Like we just talking to each other. Y'all know international Hank. This is going everywhere. This is say, for say everybody more, to hear and take all of this in. Repeat Go ahead, that for me one more time, bro. When you, when somebody says like I'm looking for you to be able to still provide for me and do for me, but you have to do the things that makes him want to do those things for you. Like, if you do this, okay. I'll do that. Like, so you can't be Absolutely. like, we can't both drive the Absolutely. car. You can't right. say I want to be chauffeured around, but I also want to drive. How are you going to do both? You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Now, it don't never make sense to me, those 50-50 situations. That's just like, I mean, that's not how, same thing like we talking about. With Uncle, that ain't what I came from. That's not what I saw. That's not the way that I understood it. That, I, I, I don't understand. That's why I said we don't promote that over here at the Hot Hustle Podcast. Yes. But yeah, that man, never worked all... out either. Hey, I know somebody. Yeah, gonna... Right. Yeah. Somebody I'm gonna get tired you. of it. I'm saying, yeah, I got my being 50. Cable bill was 300. But that's not, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Everybody, did. Go... they just, go they ahead, just need a book on his marriage. They just need the book on his marriage. And I got that's married, the... I ain't know nothing. That right there. When I got married, problem. listen to what I'm saying. Women, when I got married, everything changed all around me. All around me. Everybody changed. Everything changed. My family changed. They looked at everything differently. Only person that didn't change was me. Change. I, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Everything changed but me. Everything, everything changed should me. change, though, because now everything got to be. I, but who, you... told, who told me that? My dad wasn't around to tell me that. I'm not, right, hold up. I'm, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm not saying it's my you fault. I'm not saying it's my fault. Hold up. You said uh, what my I'm dad is, was there, and then you said my dad wasn't around. He I'm didn't tell me. No, 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 no. Yeah, he passed away, but I'm just saying he wasn't All there right, to tell me my bad. Okay. How, 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 what happens when you this far in, like I'm, I'm in, what I'm in, eight years at, at the time before we got married, and then once we got married, I no one told me I can't do the same shit that I used to do. See, that was like you said, that was the homework situation that you were supposed to do. I got plenty then of where, where did you got, get the homework? Where did you get that from? What, where, where I, got, I, I got I got aunts, I got cousins, I got uncles, I got people who I love <clears> and lean on about these different relationship aspects. So that once I get to the problem, I don't like I don't looking to argue. Me and yeah, my wife I, I talk to people, I ask questions. I ask hella questions. My wife have been we start talking in 06. We had all the conversations that you can have about. She's Christian. I'm Muslim. How are you going to raise kids? What type of, like, how are you going to do holidays? How are you going to do everything? We talked about all of that mm. shit before we got there with a baby going, well, you want to go take some Easter pictures? And it's like, well, what you talking about? Like, now we just button heads. You got to communicate and talk about all that shit. I got to talk to my uncle, my cousin, my aunt, who I know people who are in real marriages and real situations, not my man who I know still knocking off something on the side because he's not, dude, mm. he's not getting where I'm trying to go to. That's not the picture that I want to paint for these kids. 
that's not the picture that I want to paint for myself or for her. So yeah, once you get married, everything got to kind of change gradually because now the name that you putting down here for your emergency contact ain't your mom no more or your cousin. <laughs> it's this woman. Like when you start I mean, to do yeah, life insurance yeah. and shit, it's this woman. Like it's no longer my cousin, my man, or like things have to change. You gotta start to change. You gotta start looking shit differently. You gotta start looking shit like, look, nigga, I can't be over here watching a game with you six days in a row because now we ain't having yeah. dinner. Now my kids is used to me not being around. Now they used to her not being around. So now we're creating a dynamic where we're not building together. Like I said, it could be either we could gradually go like this because somebody cheated on somebody or something, or we could just slowly start to veer. Touch, you look like you were holding it in. Come on, Touch, give me something. I'm just, I'm just taking in all these, uh, these manly opinions. I'm just. But come on, give us some of those. Why we have the women sitting here from the What Up Though podcast? We need some of those female views and opinions now. It's come on, even, girl. It's not even nothing specific. I feel like I said my piece on uh, why I don't want to get married. I agree with what a lot of y'all are, what most of y'all are saying about how y'all feel. Because as far as Bruce, I get it. Because I love to be by myself. And Lord, if I could send my child somewhere else, see the fuck out my face so I could have two hours of peace. Absolutely. And you know, I get you know, that fear behind not wanting to, to lock yourself into that life. Like, damn, okay, eventually is this gonna calm down? Or am I gonna I, lock I'm, myself into it forever and nobody ever gonna shut the hell up talking to me? I get but it. here's the thing. Can I can I say something? I'm I I don't know if it's gonna piss y'all off or not, but I, you know, I'm fucked up. Like I came from I came from that sitcom shit. When you when you get when you have a baby, you're supposed to marry the big the, the, you know, you're supposed to marry. Oh, so man. I mean that's why I'm just I'm not saying everybody. That's yeah. that's in my mind. That's in my mind. When she had this baby in my mind, it was like, yo, I'm gonna take care of her for the rest of my life and take these kids on for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? I don't even and it's crazy part. I don't like I said, I don't even have no blood blood. You know what I mean? But I took on this role. Me and his mom is not even together no more. And I still, in my in my mind, I still gotta take on this role. There's nothing wrong with that. Because you're not, you could have fucked kids up in the head. You could have tore their asses up for the rest of their life. Yeah, but I I would not be able to sleep at night. But the the whole thing But a lot of people can once I accept it. Oh yeah, but (laughs) it's just it's just amazing how you know. Y'all, you know, if I'm gonna have a kid with you, I might as well have a start a whole family. We're not yeah. gonna do it for play play. Yeah. If I'm if you gonna give me a baby, why not, Matt? Put a ring on your finger. Ah, you gave me a baby, yeah. cuz we just because you're talking to two single parents. That was a different situation. Single and they got help. Single, huh? single and those, we don't have any help. So we can those are two for different. That right those are two I'm different just saying, if y'all, I just I just want to put this out here because I've been trying to hold this in for two weeks since I told it. Yeah, if that's the greatest gift that you gonna give a man. Why are you not gonna get no ring for that? According to I you, it's the greatest gift. gift. I hate huh? when people say. According I hate when people to say it's the greatest gift. It's the greatest. Come on, that's, that's I, What you? What I'm just saying. Yeah. What can you give me? What can, what can you give me? Right. Yeah, but I'm just saying in this marriage. Yeah, but I'm just saying we talking about that marriage shit. Hold yeah. up, man. It's, pro- it's gonna be a process to this. I hate when people what? say, like, the woman gave you the gift of the child. It's like, we gave that to each other. Because if I don't put it in you, you don't have it. So, like, she didn't have to give it to you, cuz. She is didn't is have to thing. give it to you. This is another thing. Have we, to give it to we, you. Can, we can be honest here on how to hustle podcast. Exactly. I the, didn't best night, the best night of my life was not one of those times I was sitting in the hospital waiting for one of my lovely children to be born, okay? Like, <laughs> how did that happen? Hold on, hold on. How did that happen? <laughs> Did huh? you receive that baby? Did you receive that baby when I came out and they handed that baby to you? That's your gift, nigga. Nah. She You're almost right. died on that Gave table. She almost, You're welcome. She almost died on that table for you. <laughs> she almost died on that table for you. Let me tell you something. My nephew had a second baby. How did you right? almost die on the table for me, though? You, you chose mean? to have the baby. Just, ladies. <laughs> for you to give you a gift. Maybe you sometimes you just don't no, pull out, you know, that extra. Let me, <laughs> Be all you need. Let me tell you our story. Let me tell you our story. Stupid, Let me bro. tell you our story. Step you, I ran to the hospital. She was having the baby. He lost smiling. And she goes, you want to see the baby? 
I goes in the jar. He all smiling. She looked like she had dead. I turned around, cussed that nigga out. Look what you did to her. Bro. Look what you did to her. <laughs> Lord, don't put nothing on you. He can't handle it. And you smiling. Go in there and give her a kiss or something telling you, well, she's going to be all right. Nah, man, that John probably all peasy. That John probably all done peasy. Yeah, they all, everybody's like, oh, the baby, the baby. And you're sitting there like a dead body. Like, oh. Yeah, you're in a dead fucking body. You're going to see a dead body. from the world. Bruce, on, jump in there for Come me, on, Bruce. Come on, Give my ass off. What you going to say? What you going to say? Give my ass off. Jump in there, Bruce. Um. I, I honestly like. I, I agree can, you, with him. I'm, hey, hey, listen to this. Listen to this. You can sit at the table and, and and have all the fucking ingredients to make a cake, but she gonna put the shit in the oven. If you didn't and put watch, the batter, and if, watch, didn't put, if and it's no batter, nigga, what you sticking a raw bowl in the oven? What you mean? <laughs> like I just said you got all the ingredients. It's definitely but a collaborative effort. It's a collaborative effort. Copy, Bruce. That's but all at the I same time, be acknowledged. But at the same time. The child, you know, the child is the gift, so they say. She didn't have to, you know, just like I didn't have to. You know. She saw something in you that made her say, you know what, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to give yeah. it to him. She yeah. saw something in you, cuz. Because I know a lot of, I know a lot of women. I know a lot of she women that, that got pregnant Hold up, on the dude. <laughs> go ahead, Bruce. I know, say a, it again. I know a lot of women that got pregnant and dipped on a dude who was like, you know what, I'm going to do this by myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I said, like, I mean, everybody's situation is different. And if you know you got an ancient nigga who ain't going to do nothing for his last three kids and now you don't have one by him, ain't no reason for you yeah, to you stick by and think that you're going to be the yeah. one that changed him. If you got you a chick who got up. two kids and she ain't doing shit for the two she got, when you got one with her, nigga, you need to get your kid away from her. You don't need to just right. leave the kid there and be like, oh, no, because we had a baby. But we're getting off topic because we're not talking about babies. We're talking about marriage. Right. And why it is that, you know, we are anti, you know, not me. Love you, baby. Six years. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, Bruce. Uh, all through the course of this conversation, what are the things that you've heard uh, that have, you know, perked, perked your interest a little bit? Um, the, situ the situation with Unc, where, uh, first off, I salute him. You know, I'm a stepfather, a bonus father, whatever you want to say. Uh, nothing nothing better than raising a child whether it's yours or, or not you know what i'm saying that's i've never heard him say that's my stepson or whatever the case might be i salute him i don't call my stepson my stepson is my son and uh you know is the situation with his ex i feel like they weren't equally yoked you know they weren't on the same level mentally you know because they weren't they didn't experience the same thing and therefore trying to come together like like Heim said with his wife, with him being uh, Muslim and her being Christian, y'all have to compromise. Y'all have to come together and work together, but y'all have to both want to do that. Sometimes, and uh, well, a lot of times in people's situations, they don't want to do that. Like they said, like Tachi said, it, it's it's a submission thing, you know, and I hate that word, but people don't want to, y'all submit to each other. It's not just the woman submitting to the man. He's the king. Absolutely. He's, he's the man of the household. He's King Kong. But it don't work like that. Because somebody ain't going to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both have to want it. Y'all both have to put it in that work to do it. And y'all have to come together. That's the main thing. But you you can't bring somebody along that don't want You can't lead somebody that don't want to be led. That's the main thing. Yeah, I, yeah that's, I was trying to get to that with Jess, too, because Jess said that. And it's like, yeah, we both supposed to be submissive to each other. You got to be strong enough to understand that you need to be weak in certain areas to grow with this person because you want to be with this person. And it's like, I see, I love you so much that I'm going to just shut the hell up and let you take this. You might be better at managing money than I am. So I'm not just going to say I got the money because I'm the man. That's just fucking stupid. That's just getting in our own way, cutting our nose to spite our face. Like, you can't just say, I'm you the better, I'm the better cook. So I'm going to just cook. Or like without us trying to grow these different situations and trying to just do what's best for us. It's also something like Unc said, there was no book and nobody to show you. There is no book. There's no one size fits all for these different for these things. Everybody's situation is different. The way it works for you might not be the way that works for me, but that don't mean that it can't still work. It's just all about how much work are you willing to put in? Like Jess was saying on that episode, I think like I just said, I think it was 97. When Jess said, as soon as the nigga says something, I said, look, do you want to break up? Because, like, I can't be doing this. I'm not fucking with you right now. 
you can't look at it like that. When you find a person that you want to be with, you're going to say, yeah, I'm going to fight through this shit because I well, want to get there. What, how do you know what's fighting for? Like, what, what do you, what's worth fighting for if we can't agree? I told you you touch a nerve that is a future episode in the 80s of How to Hustle podcast. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. It's the next episode. Okay. That's probably like 83, 84, something like that. <laughs> we don't got five weeks. We got one day. Right. I, mean, I gotta go home tonight. <laughs> I told y'all that we like to build the anticipation. The okay. We want niggas saying, damn, hype, when you gonna put that out? Patience. Um, Look, right. go ahead. This nigga ain't got five weeks. This nigga, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's real, that that right now. Look, that's real. Now, that's real. Send that nigga the episode from last week. Just tell, oh, yeah, we was on <laughs> Hype we was on Hype Podcast. This was three months ago. Um, but before we wrap this one up, um, I appreciate y'all coming on again. If a listener or a panelist ever on the show. I did this episode I did with Sonny, too. Shouts out to Sonny. Uh, judgments. Judgments are perfectly fine. Everybody looks at you all day, every day, and go, you fat, tall, skinny, small, light skin, dark skin, big teeth, big nose. People judge you all day long. Everybody's going to judge you, your situation, or whatever it is. And that's fine, because I don't really give a fuck what you think about my situation. <laughs> but I never want nobody to listen to none of this shit and take it personally like I'm attacking you. So if you just listening to this shit and you feel like, oh, you was talking about me when you said this, that, or whatever, I might have been. But you don't need to take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> so before we wrap this one up, I appreciate all y'all for coming on. This is everybody's multiple times y'all have all been on the podcast. Uh, I need y'all to throw out your handles, let everybody know where they can follow y'all, situations at, and all of that good stuff. Oh, we're going to start with you. Because we know y'all uh, get to that name. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me at uh, Philadelphia Big on Instagram. You can follow at BTG Podcast Two One Five on Instagram, and it is what it is. I ain't ever getting married again. <laughs> you said it was a possibility. Nah, he said fuck that. <laughs> never, never say know. never, she man. There, never uh, say I'm never. Out there. She, out there. she might not. She go. No. She gonna she slide. Not, she gonna okay. slide. She gonna slide in Oak DMs and say, "Wasn't you on right. both sides of the she wall?" Gonna, somebody gonna listen to this. Right? <laughs> can enjoy, I, enjoy my peace, King. <laughs> can I can I say something real quick, man? Because it's just a, a new revelation. Uh, my boy, his dad just got remarried. It's his third time getting married. Mm. But trip this though. Damn. Damn. But listen, but listen <laughs> though, the man is low key a genius because he was dating and got engaged to his next door neighbor. So he already knew kind of he had the cheat code type of thing. Them niggas stay in the separate houses. They next they got big houses right next to each other. A dream, oh, no. bro. A oh, no. That's what I'm no. saying. No. The man is a See, Touch, the problem there is Neighbors? when I roll over like when I roll come. over in the middle of the come. night and you're not there. Okay. I'm when I roll door. over and you're not next door, I said I rolled over and you're not here. We can make it together. That's just more space. I can spend the night. No, I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not doing that. You can't do that. Hey man. So what you want to do? I need help with my bill or something. If I need help, you got your own that you do. Nah, 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 ain't no help with the bills, B. I don't need your help. No, that would be great. I'm going to my house. See y'all later. Somebody needs to do this. Oh, you don't love me. You don't and love I'm dropping the kids off over there. <laughs> See, I'm saying it, you don't it was, love me. You don't it was love a me. beautiful, it was a beautiful situation to me. I was like, wow. Oh, yes. Say, because look, ain't nobody got to move. Look, you make me mad. I could just walk my ass home. You know what I'm saying? I gotta take the trash. Oh, listen, I'm, this is what I'm, I'm saying. I'm over here taking out recycling oh, and trash right, in two cribs. Right, I'm cutting right. grass in two spots. Hell no. Right, uh -uh. Right, no, nothing. Right, none yeah. of that changes. None of that but changes. This, no, you know no. But listen, what I, this is what I'm saying. That's why my shit didn't work because I had, I have three houses. Every time, every time I got in an argument, I don't have to take this shit. I got three different cribs to go to. <laughs> And everybody telling me you can't do that. Oh, they telling me you can't do that. Go back home. You can't do that. Yeah. I got three. She comes after I get there the next morning. She's there banging on the damn door. Or when you coming back home and I go back home. 
But everybody around me saying you cannot leave. You know how you can't leave. It don't just have to be for the negative. It can be for the positive. Y'all got a, a change in scenery. No, we coming to stay at your no. house this week. Paint we the walls. Around, but you can't leave. Shit. How you want to leave? You want to change the scenery? Thing. You better Money paint these goddamn walls. Money gets tight up to rent a house out. Like what? There's no bad. There's nothing. Mm. Nothing that can go wrong here. Unless it was you're not beautiful. It was a beautiful situation in my mind when I heard about it. Me too. It. Like, <laughs> no, that's that's tax, the, fir- the first that's time I roll over and you ain't here, I'm calling Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Just first look out the I window, bro. And I do like this. Just look out the there, window. You see I'm my car. Jess. I'm at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going to play free of myself. Free yourself of you next door. Now I got to pull up in the drive. Now I got to pull up in the driveway. All you got to do is connect to the Bluetooth. Y'all think about the negative. Y'all think about the downside of it. I'm thinking about the, the plus. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Listen, cut. Hey, cut. We ain't got to share, hey, we ain't gotta hey, share closet space or nothing. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. I ain't got that first much shit. time you come home, <laughs> listen. Hey, 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 hi. The first time he come home in his driveway, who that car? And there's an extra car in her driveway. You might look at who that car? Oh, hell no. Nigga, oh, there ain't no hell. What you worry about it for? That's why I said the first time I went <laughs> over and you ain't yeah, yeah. Man, come oh, on, Cash. I'm not even thinking, thinking about this, like though. Like oh, you not going to say who that car over there? You got an extra car over there. Who that? You not going to call her? But we've been neighbors, though. That's your wife. In fact, I'm going to walk in. We've been neighbors, though, so it's like I already know you. All right, hold up. Y'all, we got to wrap up here. Podcast drive through. We're getting to the, the COVID drive through stages. Cars well, we, need a, up we, need a, uh, we need a group chat. It's time to make this 30 minute episode, an hour episode. Like, it's time to just go on to an hour. My bad. I didn't mean to set it off again. Yeah, just, I'm just saying. Uh, I got just put me on. Group nah, chat. What, what you yeah, do here, it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, what you do here is you turn this into a whole nother episode, make niggas hit the button uh, again, y'all. Paid talent. Yeah, uh, yeah, Bruce. Yeah, but you know. Throw, so throw out your handles, your information, and all that. And when are we getting you on Instagram, Bruce? <sighs> man, I'm not a picture taking digger, man. I, we'll see, bro. You're not but, on uh, the Hell no, Bruce is Twitter <laughs> only ass nigga. Yeah, uh, well, I'm on, face, I'm on Facebook, uh, Bruce Leroy, but I ain't even active on there like that. Bro. It's Leroy Two E's. Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, that's not your real handle, Bruce Leroy. That's my, that's me, Bruce Leroy. Damn. Damn. I'm hey, hey Bruce, hold up. You gotta hit him with the real drink, Bruce. Give it to him, Bruce. Come on, don't give it to him, Bruce. What you mean? Salutations. This is Bruce Salutations, Leroy. Salutations, man. That's me, Bruce Leroy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, on uh on Twitter is uh glow like Leroy. Like I said, uh that's two E's and Leroy. Uh and on uh YouTube. That's uh, Unpopular Opinions TV. That's the podcast. We will be coming back soon. The ladies are a little busy right now with their careers, but salute to Kai and my girl Jazz. We make it happen. There's nobody left. It's just y'all. That's us. You can find us on um, on Instagram at Is It Power Podcast? At, at What Up No Pie. On Facebook at What Up No Pie. Yes. We don't be on Facebook. Sorry. We don't. <laughs> we I don't, don't either, but... Catch us on the gram yeah. at What Up No Pie. You can find her at Greer Diddy, me, Chase and She. Um, you too, What Up No Pie. You can catch us in a couple weeks at the Detroit Choice Awards. Period. Nominated for top three. Detroit. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know. Like, well, let's go. And where okay. and where can they get the what up though merch from since y'all didn't throw that out there? Slide in the DMs. <laughs> uh oh, it goes down in those DMs. You know the ladies don't want to get married, y'all. So you know what I'm saying? DMs be going crazy. They really right, y'all, I appreciate y'all all coming on episode 79. Appreciate y'all hitting the button. We are not out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>